Hey everyone, this is I'm a Dr. Nada. Today, we're gonna cover a video that is going to revolutionize your custom equipment mod, placing the items in the game world. We're gonna start with the basics to ultimately show you three different ways to place your item just about wherever you want. We'll theme it on a hair condition that I'm writing a research grant for, which I cover at the end of each step, so feel free to skip around. Step zero is optional, so learn how to make a custom weapon or armor mod using my prior tutorial, and that link is shown on the screen. Briefly, for this video, you can open up the stats editor and then copy over an existing piece of armor into a new armor file under stats. I named my armor Hair Hero because my grants focused on a condition called Central Centrifugal Cicatricial Alopecia, or CCCA. After customizing, duplicate the root template for the item you want to base yours on and then customize it, being sure to edit it to place the stats information for what you've just coded. You can then place the root template UUID into your stats file for the armor. And you can also use that tutorial to learn how to give your custom class mod that armor. If you want to learn how to make other custom items or just have a great idea for another tutorial, let me know in the video comments. Now, onto the main body of this video. For step one, we're going to make a treasure table file which will allow us to place our item where we want in the game world. And like always, there is a text tutorial at the pinned comment. Open the stats editor, expand your mod, and create a new treasure table file. Easy as learning what CCC is, which is a type of hair loss that typically occurs in older black women that is associated with hair traction from things like braids. In step two, we customize our table. We'll place our item in the tutorial chest, which is the chest in the room just past where Shadowheart is in the Nautiloid, at least when she's there. You can find this entry in the Gustav treasure table with an entry name as is listed on the screen. But for this video, you don't have to do any copy pasting. So on the first row of your treasure table, set the name to the name of that container as shown on the screen. Also set the append not replace column to yes to avoid removing any existing items that are already in that treasure chest. Would not be ideal. Like in CCCA, where all that hair traction can eventually start making it so the immune system can see stuff that's in people's hair cells. Now in step three, we're gonna cover our first means of placing our item in the game world, specifically by placing it in that chest. So paste your item's name into the treasure column I, separated from anything else that you might put there by a semicolon. You absolutely have to place a capital letter, letter I and then underscore before the name of your item as shown on the screen, otherwise it won't work. Set the drop count to 1, 1 as shown on the screen again, separated from other entries by a semicolon. Lastly, set the frequency to 1 again separated by a semicolon to set the number of the items that you're going to be placing into the container. If we tested right now, it would work, so be sure to like and subscribe if it does. But you can also place your item in just about any other container without struggling to figure out what all those names mean in the already existing in-game treasure table. So more time efficient, like making a faster diagnosis of CCCA by looking it under the microscope where you can see dense deposition of collagen here on the slide. So now this brings us to step four where we're going to figure out how to get the treasure table name for the items throughout the game world in a way that actually makes sense. There is one limitation in that the chest have to have a treasure entry in the root template. That may get better once the unlock toolkit is released for patch 8, which wasn't out at the time of me recording this. So 
load up the nautiloid level which is the level entry shown on the screen and then scroll over to find Shar's chest near Shadowheart. When you click on it to look at its root template you should be able to scroll down to find a treasure entry and you'll see that it has the name shown on the screen. You can then use that as a name for your treasure table and then put in your items as before. Like picking an appropriate method for studying a disfiguring or otherwise very serious disease, like my use of a cutting edge genetics technique called spatial omics where I can literally visualize the changes in immune signaling in the skin specimens from these patients. Five is the last way to place your item in the game world, at least for now. Fortunately, this is even easier than the other ways. Simply find your item's root template as shown, scroll over to where you want to place it in the game editor, and then just drag and drop. So it should be a relatively smooth process like me finishing up that grant that I'm writing and emailing it in. Research funding is essential to people like me because it allows us to find solutions to helping people with things that really negatively impact their lives. Now, step six is to test. If you go to the appropriate locations in the game, you'll see that your items are exactly where you place them. And you can support me on Patreon if that fixed your modding issues and you'd like to help me out. Now. What do you do if your game crashes or your item doesn't even show up inside the container? Items can be pretty susceptible to coding issues, so I would recommend making sure that your item works before starting to get a little bit more advanced. A lot of debugging is just figuring out where the issue is so you can then focus further debugging. Once you've figured out that something is wrong with the item, you can then focus your efforts there. And, and if you have any questions or having a hard time figuring out just what happened, feel free to leave a comment and I'm happy to help you out. You can more quickly figure this out by placing a chest in that tutorial level right near where you spawn and then making it so the treasure entry for that chest is your new treasure table with a custom name. Then you just keep reloading your level until the item shows up using what I've shown on the screen. Once the Baldur's Gate 3 Toolkit Expanded mod is updated for patch eight, we're gonna have even more that we can do with all this. That way, you can place your items in even more places in game, and make it easier to also place them in the inventories of NPCs. For now, like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. And consider supporting me on Patreon as I juggle quite a lot, but continue dedicated to helping you out with all your modding needs. Thanks for watching and Starship out. He composed and carved that one over the course of a night. He made a lot of revisions as he went. I don't know. It's not.